Hi everybody, Elizabeth and I haven't made a video in a while because we haven't been traveling. Doing a lot of work, Oravana Project's evolving, um, have been having meetings with Guyanet, uh, kind of an ecosystem mapping project that we've been participating on, participating with. Uh, Elizabeth has been both working on the architecture for Oravana and also for um, the Krau tribe up in uh, northern Brazil. We're currently in Rio. We spent the weekend here in a small, very small apartment. Uh, so it's a one room. See one room. They do have a washing machine, but um, no real place to dry anything. That right there is the bathroom. So I'll show you a around a bit. Um, this is actually uh, here. They used to have workers in these apartments. So this would have been the workers room. And this is the door to the uh, nicer apartment next door. Both apartments have the same number. So one has a black door, one has a white door. The guy told us which door we should be going to, and uh, we ignored that, went to the other door, got the key out from under the mat, and entered the really nice one, the one where the, uh, the masters live. And uh, then we're like, that doesn't look like the picture. And uh, so then we went and looked at the door, and it was the wrong door, and they both have the same number. So we went to the one next door, and uh, this is the place we're staying in. So this is the, uh, not the master. This would be the, uh, the wage slave, or the workers' quarters, uh, which they've turned into an apartment. A uh, nice apartment in some ways, also not great in other ways. Uh, nice that they have a refrigerator here. Like, it's kind of fully stocked. Refrigerator, fryer, we don't use the microwave, but there's a microwave. You know, don't use this because I don't eat bread. I'm allergic to bread, but uh, there's that. The kitchen is okay. I'll show you a little bit around the kitchen. So nice washing machine. These washing machines, a lot of people don't know, don't buy these washing machines. These washing machines will destroy your clothes more quickly than the front load ones because of the way they twist. And you definitely don't ever put, or, you know, it's not great to put, uh, like, blankets in here because this will twist your blanket and destroy your clothes and blankets much more quickly than the front load ones. If you have the money, um, and you're capable, always buy the front load ones. Do not buy the top load ones like this. Of course, they sell these to people who don't have the money to buy nicer clothes and don't have the money to buy more clothes, and so then they end up destroying their clothes more quickly. Uh, not great. Not a great system we have on the planet right now. Uh, a lot of clutter here. There's a lot of clutter. I call it dust collectors. I'll show you the bathroom too. There are dust collectors, a lot of dust collectors. It's never great in, uh, to have these scented things in rooms. Luckily, there's no scent in here, but I'm sensitive to the scent. A lot of people are, and often it's used to mask other scents in the room. If you ever have one of these, do not put these in. So typically, when I walk into these places and I see these, I have to go get paper towels or toilet paper, wrap it up, and store it somewhere in one of the uh, the cupboards or closets. It's really annoying. Do not do that. It's it's terrible for people who come visit and have sensitivities. Uh, so, uh, nice kitchen, two stop burner, two, uh, two toes stove top burner. Not great, it doesn't work really well. Um, it can only go high, you can't get it low, so not a great system here. Uh, nice that they provide a coffee uh, maker here. Uh, this is your water filter. These water filters are not great. They don't really do a great job filtering your water. Activated uh, char charcoal, carbon, uh, water filter. Often pellets, instead of actually having uh, a smooth uh, filling that fits, that essentially a cartridge that fits in smoothly. Because when you have pellets, some of the water goes through, it doesn't work. You can shake your cartridge, and if you're hearing it, if you're hearing it shake, then it's pellets, and you know you don't have a good water filter. If you shake your water filter and you don't hear any sounds, then you know that it's smooth all the way around and the, all the water is passing through the activated carbon instead of, uh, instead of one that you shake and you can hear. Not a great water filter. Uh, like this sink in some ways, curved here, very nice sink. Do not like the fact that, you know, it's not below. Don't buy sinks like this that go above because you end up getting water all around here and then you can't get the water into the sink. And so it's just a huge pain. We see this all over Brazil, sinks like this, which is strange because in a lot of Brazil, they actually have squeegees at the sink. So you can squeegee all the water because the water pressure is almost never appropriately calculated for. Of course, we're in an apartment in Rio de Janeiro, Rio de Janeiro. 
So uh, it is appropriately calculated for. We still get water here, and it's impossible. And then you get like food particles here. It's just a real pain. These should be under the sink, not above the sink. Nice having curved edges. This is nice right here. This, uh, you know, you can move it all the way around. Water pressure's fine. No hot water at the sink. I'll show you that in the shower. No hot water at the sink. No hot water at the other sink. Not great. Uh, vegetable oil here, never great seeing that. That's going to cause disease in your body. Nice that they provide paper towels. Um, often they don't do that. Here, this is kind of strange. This is the drying area, but uh, if you want to clean in this, as you can see right here, if you want to clean this, you have to take everything out because this doesn't come out. So you have to take all of it out and then clean inside here. Kind of a, a pain. Really, it would have been nice if it was above, but then it would interfere with this socket, which should have probably been placed higher. I don't know why it was even placed right there and not over, not over there. So yeah, this is uh, nice, but also kind of annoying. They only provided two plates. That's not great. Um, so underneath the sink, they do have a P-pipe. Remember, P-pipes are used to prevent gas from coming back into back into the room uh, we've been talking to some constructors because we're thinking about buying a buying some buying a house here and the house is not in is kind of in disrepair and the sink that we have in the current house that we're staying at doesn't have a p-pipe and we talked the, con the constructor didn't even know what we were talking about in a lot of places it's code it's law that you have a p-pipe because it's extremely dangerous to have sewer gases coming back into the house but this constructor didn't even know what, what it was. Constructor, not great. Uh, so we're, I'm not sure we're gonna go with this constructor. Constructor doesn't know what a P-pipe is, not so, not so great. So here's the P-pipe you can see, uh, kind of different than normal, but uh, reasonable. So the um, this traps water and yeah, kind of it's nicely designed back there. So you can, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it's nicely designed. So this traps water and uh, prevents the sewer gases from coming up. So, yeah, they provided more paper towels. They gave us some alcohol, kind of nice. Uh, a new pan, it's never great when you, when you don't see new pans because nonstick pans in places like this are often extremely damaged, and I don't like using a nonstick pan because, of course, you get that in your food. Uh, so, uh, another dust collector, more dust collectors here. This apartment was really dusty. I mean, we walked in, felt clean, clean, and then you began looking up at the lights, and you could see the dust. So, not so great. A lot of dust collectors here. More dust collector, another dust collector, plastic dust collector. So, good that they have an air conditioning unit because it was actually actually warm today. Nice place to put your luggage. This is always, seeing something like this is always great. Nice seeing that. Uh, nice that they kind of have like somewhat blackout blinds, not really blackout, still pretty light. Another dust collector up here. Nice to have something like this in the apartment so that you can hang things. Uh, this bed is nice in some ways, and also not so great. I'm, it seems like they use the under here for storage, but this is also very easy to hit your, can you see that? Very easy to hit your foot. It sticks out here, and it's sharp. So Elizabeth actually uh, cut, her, cut her foot on it. Not great. Not great to see something like that. It's nice to have storage underneath if you live here, but we're not living here. This is a rented apartment, so... A lot of storage in this apartment. You can see more storage here, television, that's fine. But see that blue light at night? You know, I have to sleep with the sleeping mask in this room because the, that blue light, blue light's really bright at night. We're in the city. There's a lot of light coming in from there, so sleeping mask. Elizabeth on that side of the bed has uh, a place that she can put things. And here they've made something that we can, you know, on this side of the bed I can put that. Uh, you know, I never like seeing electrical outlets right by my head. Don't like, don't like that. A uh, nice lighting in this apartment. I don't really like the color there, not a big deal. So here's the bathroom. Again, another thing I don't like, you walk into here and that light turns on automatically and that's a bright white light. So in the middle of the night when we have our red light, which we travel with at night because we prefer having a red light at night, uh, that, that white light comes on. And uh, if you want to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, you're now kind of like reducing melatonin. It's going to be a little bit potentially harder to fall back to sleep because of that white light kind of cover your eyes. Not so great. Sink here in, in this apartment doesn't have doesn't have hot water. You know, doesn't have hot water. Only has cold water. Uh, nice sink though. Easy to use. Uh, looks nice. This right here is kind of strange. This is the mirror. You know, it pulls out. I don't know how. 
That doesn't seem like that's uh, meant to happen because there are just two screws up there. And if those screws aren't aren't uh, long enough, at some point in time, this is going to fall. So this should not be moving like that. Um, so nice hanger here. I don't know what they've done. They they oh this is goes that's supposed to go here. You know, stuck there. That's easy to lose. The wiring, you can see the wiring in the back. Where's the wiring? Yeah, right here, you can see some of the wiring. You really shouldn't be able to see that. This was done kind of cheaply, this wood. Um, it's not even flush against flush against the wall, and there's no caulking there, so people could get people could get water there. You see that. And it's nice that there's some storage under here. And again, here's another P-pipe because we're in an apartment. So obviously there's code here. They've at least known how to do it intelligently. Uh, nice. This is nice, the way they've designed this right here. You can store stuff here. And they even provided a hair dryer. Uh, nice toilet right here. And so uh, with a sanitary shower and two buttons. Um, it is not a pressure, it's gravity fed by this basin right here. Uh, so not a problem there. So in this apartment, I'll show you, people put trash, people can put their trash here. So a lot of apartments have this, and so you um, you literally just dump your trash. That doesn't smell great. You dump your trash. Can you see that? You dump your trash here. This is in the shower area. Who knows what this was before, but if you want to just dump your trash and have it fall, and so we sometimes hear trash falling. So people above us put their trash and we hear the trash falling. Uh, not great this design, um, you know, because it sh kind of probably should have gone all the way up because this is going to be a dust collector, potential mold, mold collector. Nice that they have this towel rack here, proper towel rack instead of a, a rack for one, you know, a hand towel instead of an actual bathing towel. So you can see here they are, have the electric shower. Uh, that's what clued us in before we use the rest of the taps. You can see the drain down there and the resistor down there. See the resistor there? Nicely done. In many ways, this is nicely done, except for all of the dust collectors right here. Again, apartment kind of dusty. You can see why. Not like, you know, there's going to be dust in here, dust here. All that's going to collect dust. I think that's about it for this apartment. They, uh, it was pretty simple. Just a few days. Rio de Janeiro, another hangar here. Good. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, we had a nice time. Been working on Orvana a lot. It's, um... Yeah, it's going well. Kind of disappointed in some ways that people aren't contributing to the project. That we're talking a lot of, we're talking to a lot of other projects, and everybody seems to be focused on their own project. Some of the projects really focused on what seem to be profit instead of our uh, common direction. Sometimes I don't even know if we're aligned in our common direction because they haven't explained their vision. They say they're aligned with us, and I'm not so certain sometimes. Um, you know, they use uh, they use very um, obtuse words to define our common direction and uh, not so sure not so sure we are aligned not so sure sometimes yes I think so sometimes no so that's kind of been a bit disappointing a lot of meetings and uh, not much coming out of them sometimes but it's nice meeting other projects sometimes there is a lot don't get me wrong sometimes uh, there is a lot of productivity I've met quite a few people and uh, I think I'm helping them, and our project's helping them, and I think uh, their projects are also helping us. So it's just a bit, I guess what I'm saying is it's a bit disappointing that there aren't more people contributing to, um, to this project. Since we have so much content, uh, it can become overwhelming for a lot of people, looking at the amount that we actually do have. A lot of people kind of get lost. Uh, and in part that's our fault, um, but then again we're developing the system, we're not trying to market the system. It would be great if we had somebody on the team that was really doing marketing and influence, and as yet we don't. But, you know, we're all working toward uh, the future where we all live in a community at the societal level, I think. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, this has been in the apartment. Take care. See you. Bye.